get off the beach. I mean, unless you can figure out how to completely be isolated from anybody else, take some personal responsibility here, don't infect other people, don't take a chance that you're going to be the one that's going to cause your grandparent or your parents or another friend from school uh, to get sick. An urgent plea from Senator Scott there to stop the spread of coronavirus as thousands of families and students on spring break continue to pack Bay Area beaches. And you know what? Now local governments are taking drastic steps to keep people away from our world-renowned sand and beaches. And on your side's Pinellas County reporter Christine McClarty is live at Bel Air Beach where these restrictions start later today. Sunrise is a busy time here at Bel Air Beach. People packed the sand right behind me to watch the sky change colors. That'll happen here within a couple of hours. But today will be the last morning for a couple of weeks that people will be able to take in Mother Nature's beauty from this spot on Bel Air Beach. That's because all this is happening after Pinellas commissioners ordered all public beaches to close at 11:59 tonight. They'll remain closed for more than two weeks until at least April 6th. Today you can come out. However. However, officials will keep an eye on crowds, and if things get out of hand, they'll shut it down early. The countywide shutdown even includes Clearwater Beach, which wasn't expected to close until Monday, meaning it will close tonight. Other counties and communities are also making similar decisions, something that beach businesses understand, but they still say it's going to hurt their bottom line. I've been through tons of hurricanes and red tides and weather scenarios and stuff like that, so the outdoor business. You get a pretty thick skin, but this is different territory. Again, here at Bel Air Beach, one of many Pinellas County beaches that is closing at 11:59 tonight. However, these countywide closures will not be impacting private beaches, but people on those private beaches will still be asked to follow CDC guidelines of staying six feet apart. For more details on beach closures, locations, and times, check out the WFLA app on your phone. Reporting live, Christine McClarty, eight on your side. Big time changes, Christine. Thank you.